Well, let's get you all the details. DW's Chris Harrington is here with the backstory. So what does this mean for Platini? Well, the first thing it means is his plans for tomorrow evening will have to be different because he is not allowed to attend the 2016 European Championship draw. That's a huge, huge setback for Platini and UEFA in itself because he indeed is a suspended president. He's been president since 2002, so that's a huge blow. He's always been on hand for this event. But the cast, the court, you know, they upheld the ban because they felt it did not do irreparable harm to Platini's reputation. And they did say that <clears throat> even if they did lift the ban, it didn't mean that FIFA would actually allow him to put his name in the hat to become the next FIFA president. And then we can't forget, Platini does face a life ban from FIFA. He's going to meet in Zurich next week with the, um, the ethics judge, Eckhart. And according to FIFA, they'll decide his fate by the end of December. Well, Platini, of course, was the front runner in yes. terms when it came to running for a FIFA president, becoming FIFA president. Could he still run in February? Yeah, definitely, because the, the court, they did draw a line in the sand. They said, you have a deadline, FIFA. You must, you must, you have to decide uh, Platini's judgment, the fate, if he's guilty or not, by January 5th or sooner. So that does give him time to get back to campaigning and potentially become the next FIFA president. But so we, that, that door is left open for him. That door is left open. But realistically, Chris, I mean, is he damaged goods by now? Well, you know, that's hard to say. Before this payment, you know, came to, to light, he did have the majority of the support. But now that support for the next president has been divided. You know, we have the Asian Football Confederation supporting Sheikh Salman, and UEFA now supports Gianni Infantino. But I do think if Platini is cleared of any wrongdoing, then that, that support from UEFA will realign itself back with Platini, and then there'll be a power struggle. But... You know, he does have experience, and UEFA obviously is a very successful confederation, so he still does have a shot, even though it might be long. To be continued, Definitely. Chris. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. All right. Let's bring in our sports correspondent, Chris Harrington. Chris, welcome. Mm -hmm. Tell me first, what does this court decision mean for Platini? Well, for the French football legend Platini, the first thing it means, he'll have to change his plans for tomorrow evening. He will not be on hand for the 2016 European Championship draw. And as president, that's a huge blow to understand the implications of that and the negativity that could spread and contaminate the UEFA as well. But, you know, the decision was upheld, you know, by the judges because they felt it didn't do irreparable harm to Platini's reputation. And they basically kicked the ball of responsibility back to FIFA. Platini will face a FIFA ethics judge, Eckhart, next week in Zurich. And he will face his decision, see what happens with him. He's facing a life ban. A verdict, according to FIFA, is expected by the end of December. So we have to wait and see. So as I mentioned, that he was a favorite to become right. FIFA president to replace Sepp Blatter. Mm -hmm. So what are the chances that he could still end up running for that election in February next year? Well, the one concrete thing the Court of Arbitration for Sport did, the decision they did make, is they drew a deadline in the sand. Mm -hmm. They said, January 5th, you must make a decision, or earlier, particularly to allow Platini, if he's found innocent of any wrongdoing, to participate in the running to become the next FIFA president. They felt that if FIFA was allowed to keep on extending this uh, suspension, that that would be unfair and unjust. So they did make that one particular decision. And what about this $2 million payment? It was right. made now by, by Sepp Blatter, yes. um, the, the former FIFA president. What does the CAS's court decision mean for him? Well, the decision doesn't really talk about innocence or guilt. It just pretty much represents respect towards FIFA. And along with Platini, Sepp Blatter will also face the ethics judge Eckhart in Zurich next week. He, as well as Platini, is facing a live ban. But Sepp Blatter's been swimming in controversy, you know, ever since he became president uh, <laughs> of FIFA. So it's one of two things can happen. He can either ride off into the sunset uh, and retire in peace, or he'll have a real negative ending to his story and his legacy as well. He could potentially end up, we'll have to see where they invest investigations lead, but uh, he could end up in a very uncomfortable circumstance. So the drama continues all eyes down that meeting next week? Right, right, in Zurich. Right, That's we have to right. see what happens. And the definite deadline is uh, January 5th, which was imposed by uh, CAS today. Right. Chris Harrington, thank you very much for that. All right.